This story is called A Dinosaur Ate Dad's Hair and it's written by Trent Roberts and Chrissy Krebs. My dad doesn't have any hair. Well, not on his head. When I asked dad what happened to his hair, he started scratching his head really fast like he does when grandma and grandpa make a surprise visit. When my little brother Felix picks his nose. Eventually, Dad said, a dinosaur ate my hair. My teacher, Miss Fortune, told us that some dinosaurs ate meat and some dinosaurs ate plants. She'd never heard of a hair-eating dinosaur. Dad said it was a very rare type of dinosaur called the Tyeteoheris rex. I asked Miss Fortune if there was such a thing as a tie eat your hair as Rex, but she'd never heard of it. She said even if it did exist, Dad would have to be 65 million years old to have been attacked by it. My dad's old, but not that old. Miss Fortune said, it sounds like your dad's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. I said that Dad should pull the wool over his eyes and then he wouldn't need hair. Dad said, all right, all right, a tie eat your hair as Rex didn't eat my hair. Here's what really happened. One night, we were camping under the stars and you and Felix were really cold. So I plucked my hair out and wove a blanket out of it for you. But Dad doesn't go camping because he hates being too far away from the TV and he's scared of sleeping bags. Dad said, hey, there's no need to bring my fear of sleeping bags into this. Fine, here's what really happened to my hair. Before you were born, I was on a big ship and the captain fell overboard. And I had to quickly rip my hair out and make a rope from it to save him. But Dad's never been on a ship because he gets seasick. He sometimes even gets queasy in the bath. Dad said, okay, okay. You know your Uncle Dave with the really cool hair? Well, that's my hair. I gave it to him. Mum said it's important not to tell lies. Dad said, your mum's right. Here's the actual, real, 100% truth. My hair just fell out. Felix and I laughed and laughed until we fell over. That was the silliest explanation of them all. Maybe a dinosaur really did eat Dad's hair.